whenever I let go of my attachment, just what came in was so much bigger, so much more love was there for my kids and my ex and my girlfriend and myself and everything and everybody when I let go of what makes me sad or what would make me sad. You know, my attachments, my loves. Um, the next story. Are we gonna get to go to the zoo and watch all the animals jumping up and down for you? That's really fun to do with a family. And uh, these ordinary things is what to me life is about, you know. Um, gardening and visiting and trips and camping and life, you know. That's a, it's sad to leave this episode. It's exciting to, to step into a mystery of a new episode, you know. Um, the biggest sadness I face right now is brokenheartedness over the state of the world and of its people and how separate everyone is and how scared and fearful everyone is. That's why that really makes me sad. That's why uh, I leave the world with a broken heart. An open heart, but a broken heart. And I don't see how you can live in this world and look around you and not have a broken heart. And our hearts need to break, and they need to break open so we can see one another, so we can see what we're doing to one another. That's, that's what I look at every day that just crushes me. And I, it takes every bit of, of spiritual awareness and light and everything I can muster not to just break down and cry over the, what I see in this world. And, uh, I just pray we get our shit together. There's no guarantees here. We could blow it. So, uh, yeah. Tread lightly <laughs> and be kind to one another. It's just so important right now. We have a big corner to turn. And I don't think we all created this dream and this beautiful world and event or God created it to just watch it get trashed. You know, I think at the very core of humanity is love. I don't think it's in our basic nature to be selfish and greedy and all power seeking and all this stuff, you know? Um, even our basic animal nature is love. I know our divine nature is love. So we're having a little PTSD in between. Be figuring out what it is to be human and not let our animal nature drag us down. And looking towards our divinity and letting us draw, uh, let, let that draw us forward, you know, and realize who and where we are in history and our own story. I think I was born in service. Okay. I don't ever, I feel, I feel we're all born in service and, uh, you know, the Dalai Lama says, if you uh, want to help yourself, help somebody else. Great philosophy. This whole philosophy is compassion. So, yeah, I think if everybody would uh, realize we are born into service of each other, that's not servitude. That's um, to bring joy and comfort and belonging to each other. That's, that's the service, you know. The Dalai Lama said, if, if we taught every child to meditate at the age of eight, and they all learned how to meditate, we wouldn't have violence and war in this world. I know this to be true. <laughs> it would be, it's, it's true. Um, 
Meditation teaches you uh, why Jesus said to love others as yourself. Because meditation teaches you that others are yourself. That when they say God is one and God is all, that's that's literal. You can that's literal. And so when Jesus was saying, uh, you know, I was hungry and you didn't feed me, I was unclothed, you didn't give me clothes, you didn't help me when I was diseased. They said, but Master, and he said, to the least of those is how you do to me. That's very easy for me to understand, you know. So, I don't know. I think our natural state is in service to each other. Everybody who looks at their end and sees it coming wants to put their ducks in a row, you know, wants to kind of finish their business. Mm -hmm. I think that's a healthy thing. And I think it's very healthy for people to just keep doing what you do. Keep living your life, you know. Um, you see, my I, one of my loves is gardening, so my last breath, I'll be gardening. I had friends over there, you're gonna kill yourself gardening. I said, well, I don't wanna kill myself lying in bed. I'd rather kill myself gardening. <laughs> I mean, if I gotta go, let's go doing something that I enjoy, you know?